Hello, 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 y'all. What's up, my beautiful people? How y'all doing out there today? Well, whew, y'all, I tell you, it's been a long day, but nevertheless, you know, I'm glad to be with you, and uh, I'm here before you with another video. Uh, my channel is Laughing But Very Serious with Brenda, LBVS with Brenda. However, uh, we're going to get a little bit more serious today than we are. We'll do a little laughing maybe, but uh, it's really a serious time. So anyway, I'm glad to be before you and um, I'm back before you with um, Seafood Boil, guys. And so uh, let me just go ahead and let you know what uh, we're going to dine on. I have some, some king crab today. I have a uh, lobster tail. I have snow crab. Yeah, I got snow crab in the bunch. I have boiled eggs. I have uh, my little bite-sized potatoes, which I really enjoy, uh, and boiled corn. Um, and never, last but not least, guys, I haven't said this in a while because I haven't done a boil in a while, but I got that good old B render sauce on deck. And so I didn't have any uh, lemons, so um, I improvised. I'm using limes, if I even get to them. Uh, because uh, ordinarily my sauce is so tasty, so delicious until I really <laughs> hadn't been having a need to get even to the lemons. And for drinking, I'm having water. So anyway, um, go ahead, you know, and uh, get ready and uh, grab you something to eat so that, uh, you know, you can just uh, enjoy the video and let me go be uh, before the throne of grace that we may turn obtain some much needed mercy. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come before you, Lord God, just thanking and praising you for all that you are. We thank you, Father God, for being almighty. We thank you, Father God, for all that you're doing in our lives. We thank you, Father God, for your mercy, Lord God, because we know without your mercy, Lord God, even though times are bad, they can be much worse. We thank you, Father God, for uh, all that you're going to do. You know, we trust you, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for this food that I'm about to receive. And I ask that you let it be used as nourishment for my body. Remove all the impurities from this food. I ask, Father God, that you feed the homeless and the hungry. Continue to heal those who are sick, oh God. Oh God, that is my plea. And I ask, Father God, that you would have your way, Lord God. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name, I pray. Amen. So anyway, guys, listen, I haven't eaten all day because I've been waiting and I've been hungry. <laughs> yeah, but I said, well, you know, I'm going to um, uh, holla, uh, talk to my uh, to Brenda's Beauties today a little while. I'm not going to keep you very long, uh, but, you know, I do want to get into a couple of topics that are really serious uh, today, uh, guys. And, you know, I just really hope that, you know, we you know, can get a handle on this thing. Sometimes, you know, in a situation uh, when you feel like uh, there's nothing you can do, yeah, you know, God blesses our efforts. And so we do all that we can. And God knows when we uh, come to the end of our road as to what we can do. And that's when he step in. That's when, you know, all things are possible with God. And, you know, he specializes in the things that are impossible to man. So anyway, whew, yeah, let me get ready to get it in, y'all. I don't even know what to start with first. It's been a little while since I did me a boil, but, you know, I've been uh, uh, watching videos and listen, y'all been making me hungry for a boil. So I think I'm going to start with this crab leg. Yep. Woo. I think I'm going to start with her. Y'all been watching some really interesting videos. And, whoo, Lord, the times are really interesting, aren't they? My sauce, so ooh, my sauce is still pretty hot, y'all, because uh, I, I always try to like to make me uh, some fresh sauce. And so it is pretty hot. I can't even hardly pick up my onions, but there it is. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. 
It's good, y'all. It's good. I even have no doubt. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. I really appreciate you guys for letting me get a little bit of eating in. Yeah, but hang in there. Don't go away. Because, yeah, we got a little talking to, to do. Got just a little bit of talking, y'all. Woo! I tell you. Yes. Woo. Hot, hot, but good, good. <laughs> I guess I'm going to throw me a little bit of uh, lime on there. Mmm. My sauce is a little bit, I like it a little bit more thick. Still good though. It's still tasty. That just goes to show, when something's not broke, don't try to fix it. Because I did do a little something different to it today, and uh, hmm, I think I like it better the other way. Like that corn, y'all. I'm going to let it bathe for a minute. Yeah. So, you know, how are you guys? Are you guys still recovering from the election? Um, I don't know. I think I still got a little lightweight hangover from it because it's still ongoing. And it's just, you know, really something I've, that I've never seen before in my life and don't care to ever see again. Wow. 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 Mm. Never thought I'd see the times. You know, most time when an election is over. And the American people have spoken. It's over. I thought. I think. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. And really, and it's really okay with me. Ugh. But um, I think I lost a couple of um, who I thought were friends, but very, uh, very good um, supporters. Due to, I guess, my opinion, <laughs> you know, and so if that's, if you left my channel because of my opinion, you were entitled to yours. Uh, they just wasn't the same. You know, we, you know, I didn't uh, judge you because of what you thought or how you, uh, what you chose. So.
even though I'll miss you, you know, if um, freedom of speech mean freedom of speech and spe freedom of choice means nothing to you except only in words, deuces. Wow. You know what? Um, one thing I really hate is that uh, the United States of America has never been uh, so divided. Glad I'm here above ground, but never thought I'd live to see the day. Really? Some guy even came on here and told me I had a big forehead. <laughs> I need to shut my big forehead mouth up. What, you thought that hurt my feelings? I'm not ashamed of anything, any feature. And as a matter of fact, you know, they used to call me Moon. You know, that was one, that, was, that used to be my nickname. So, you know, uh, that's my beauty mark. I'm, pr I'm not ashamed of my, uh, my forehead. It's like my mom's. Uh, God rest her soul. Now listen, mm, that ain't gonna shut me up because you say I have uh, I have a big forehead. Wow, <laughs> that's to you. You know who you are. <laughs> Woo wee! I thought it was kind of cute, uh, although I thought it was childish. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Just because I choose uh, to vote for whatever candidate candidate that I choose to support. Wow. But those are the kind of people we're dealing with today. So, you know, you just really, as a matter of fact, I had to go on my Facebook page and change personal information. Because if you're taking it that serious, whereas uh, 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 the candidate, your candidate probably don't care, give two hoots about you. And if you're taking that that serious, I thought maybe I better change uh, my, my my city and state, <laughs> I, you know, change where I live, you know. And, and so it, uh, any of my Facebook friends, if you're watching, of course, you know that uh, it's fictitious just because for the people who take this so serious that you can't put nothing past them. It's really sad. Mm-mm-mm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Y'all, I am enjoying this seafood boil today. Yes, I am. Been waiting on one. Had this in my freezer because uh, guess what? I'm not going out. I, I haven't been nowhere. Mm -mm. I'm not going nowhere. And when I do have to go out, it's an absolute necessity. And when I go out, I mask up to the hill. Believe that. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care if anyone wants to uh, laugh. Look at there. Ooh, that's a first. Fry cuz was so big. Look at all my seasoning in there. All right now. Laugh if you will. Say whatever you want to say. But <laughs> this ain't no oaks to me. As a matter of fact, I just had a very, very, very dear friend of mine to lose her battle to COVID, COVID-19. It's real, guys. It is real. Yeah. And I'm still grieving. We haven't even, uh, her, her, they haven't even had a, a, a service for her yet. So you can say whatever you want to say. Hmm. 
Hmm. Say whatever you want to say, but I'm going to take care of me and mine. I'm going to do what I have to do. I don't believe this is no... A matter of fact, I know it's not a hoax. I know it'll kill you. And today, it's surging in every state. In all 50 states, this thing is really surging. There's no hospital beds. My, a friend of mine, I think I told you in my last video, mom had a, a incident that she had to go to the hospital. They couldn't even find a room to put her in. Mm -mm. I'm not playing with it. I am not playing with this. And if you're uh, looking at this video, you ought to be giving God some praise. You ought to be saying, thank you, Jesus. that you, you Because that means you lived another day. So, you know, while... Um, you know, kids don't understand sometimes why, you know, we uh, you, they, we can't go anywhere while, you know, we, we have to uh, quarantine, self-quarantine. But if you don't understand now, you'll understand later. After all the smoke clear, and you're still able to be in the land of the living standing, we're going to thank God. We're going to honor the Lord. We're going to thank him. And because and, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to act, we're, we're going to use wisdom. We're going to use wisdom, and we're going to do what we have to do. It's just not nowhere that's uh, so important for me to be, you know, if it's not absolutely necessary, there's nowhere for me to be. I mean, yeah, I, I pretty much hang by myself anyway. I have a, a, a couple of friends or, or, you know, and my sisters are my uh, best friends that, you know, other than that, my circle is very small. But in everybody that's in my circle, they're doing the same thing I'm doing. So, yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I knew this corn was going to be on point. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I steamed it. eating one leg and one knuckle and already yeah, a couple of those little bite-sized potatoes and I'm already feeling a little stuff. That's the reason why that's the reason why I can't do the challenges with y'all. I'm not a sore loser like some people I've encountered, but uh, I don't like losing either, really. But if I do, I do. It's all in the, in the game. Whew. So let me try some of these snow crabs and see what they, uh, see what they doing. Of course, y'all already know I'm still be eating long after this video is off, right? <laughs> Yep. So listen, this video probably is not even gonna have an intro on it because I want to go ahead and get it up, uh, uploaded. And so, and that's all right too because I've done many videos without intros, and and and, and it's not gonna be edited or any of that. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, all these lights got me sweating. Or is it just uh, good, good? Woo. Mm hmm. Food is good, it really is. It was worth the wait. 
Listen, this is what here's what's happening. I had it in my freezer. And I didn't want it to get freezer burnt. So I thought what better time than now? Not only that, you know, I wanted some seafood anyway. And since I already had it, I thought I'd go ahead and you know, share it with Windows Beauties. Woo! But I am getting full. Getting kind of full, y'all. But see, I get to, uh, full so fast, and then I, but I don't want to uh, be done talking to you guys. But so anyway, what I wanted to say really uh, was was uh, about this whole, this whole COVID deal. And I'm probably not going to say nothing that you already don't know. But, you know, it, you know, our nation is in trouble, y'all. Our nation is in trouble. We really are. Now, of course, uh, COVID is not a, a United States thing, but we have a uh, quarter of a million deaths. And I just, it just be, I can't get my head around the fact that people still think that this is a hoax. Wow. When my friend died, Sunday. I never wanted it to get that close to me because she's somebody who I love dearly. And my condolences to her family who loves her so, so much. Rest in peace, Pearl. And you are certainly, most certainly gone too soon. Life stolen away by a virus that many people don't believe is real. So sad, so sad. And you know, people still want to walk around here and, you know, criticize the mask. If you don't even want to wear the mask for yourself, wear it for other people. Because listen, I'm not getting on no elevator if, uh, with people. Uh, I'm, I'm on an elevator with people who refuse to wear a mask? Really? Wow. I, I just, I trust in God with all my heart and lean not to my own understanding. And in all my ways, I try my best to acknowledge him in everything and that he may direct my path. So it's not a matter of, whether, of, of trust and it's not a matter of faith because uh, there's been several uh, pastors of churches who uh, declare that uh, uh, if you don't, if you give in to this virus, uh, you must not uh, have any faith or you must not trust God. It's not that at all. It is not that at all. But you don't know what the person sitting beside you believe or trust. And not only that, I just really and truly honestly believe God wants us to obey and, and be governed by the laws of the land. And, you know, when, and, and uh, to pray for our nation's leaders, you know, and to uh, respect our nation's leaders, whether or not they're respectable, you know, because uh, my respect for you, that uh, reflects who I am, not who you are, not, you know, so um, I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and try to uh, live my life according to what the Bible says. Now, don't get me wrong. Am I perfect? Absolutely not. Do I fall short of his glory? Yes, of course. You know, and but uh, do I practice a lifestyle of it? Sin? No, I don't. You know, and I'm much better off since I have chosen to follow Jesus and to give up those things that I know had me bound. My life has been much, much better. So am I just going to ignore uh, uh, the laws of the land? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You know. And so uh, I don't believe that that says any less about uh, the faith that I have in God. You know, it's just that, you know, I'm just doing what I feel like is necessary for me and mine, you know, that we, that's to stay alive. You know, and, and I don't know, uh, you know, today it, it's really hard. It's really hard because today it's almost like the blind is leading the blind. So you have to just uh, 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 go in prayer and choose what you want to do uh, with, with a situation.
And sooner, soon enough, some of you guys are going to find out that um, you're sticking by somebody who could care less about you. Every time I eat these boiled eggs, they get a little thick in my mouth. Y'all know what I mean. Mmm. So, I guess I've said all that to say this. Mm. You say whatever you want to say about me. I'm not on here trying to look pretty. You know, it, um, I even took my nails off. Listen, I'm not even going sitting up in nobody's nail shop right now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It ain't happening. It's not that deep for me because uh, fingernails don't define me. You know, they enhance but they don't define, so no. Mm -mm. I, I, I did all I could to take them off and, and the best I could without tearing up my nail bed. <laughs> y'all, some of y'all know what I mean. And so you, that's just what it is. I'm, I'm just, you know, um, not going to ignore the signs. I'm just not going to, I'm not going to do it. Mm -mm. I, I, I try to, um, you know, it's like I said, kids don't understand sometimes. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so I do whatever I can to try to make sure that, you know, that uh, uh, my granddaughter's not bored out of her wits. And, you know, but at, at, there's a point that even she just have to understand and deal with it. You know, that's the problem I have with my grandson. He wanted to be in the streets too much. And no, we're in a pandemic. You can't be out there moving around, God knows where and God knows who with, and, and then come back up here and bring me something and I'm doing everything I can to be safe. You guys, I'm just gonna keep it real. I'll be glad when this uh transition is done and I be and I and I pray to God that in spite of anything that's said, uh that that uh, we'll have a peaceful transition like every other nation, uh that we'll have a, a peace, peaceful peaceful presidential transition a handing over of power wow you know that that just kind of um uh, that's a concern to me because even right now uh, uh uh people are refusing to work with other people and um we're in a pandemic we don't have time for that uh we don't have time for that uh chaos we don't have time for that so, you know, I'm just going to uh, see if Mitch McConnell uh, knows what he what he's saying when he's saying that uh, there will be a peaceful transition of power. And obviously, by now, we know it's, it's going to be one, a transition, because almost every state has declared a winner, even after having been challenged. Y'all, mm, mm, mm. this food is good, but you know, I don't know. I just felt a urgency just to come on and just, just, uh, you know, to appeal to you just to please, please wear your mask. We're mad. We don't have to do this forever. And if we don't do it, we're not going to be around. Some of us are uh, not going to be around to do it. And you know, but the sooner we do it, we can, you know, do what we can to get this thing behind us. I really didn't intend for my whole video to be uh, on this subject, but that seems like it. that's all that will come out of my spirit right now. While I do have an audience that I just want to say, if you're one of those people who think that this is a hoax, it's not. It is not. 
It's not a hoax. And, you know, uh, let's do all that we can. You know, listen, we're in a storm right now. But this storm, nothing, you know, listen, trouble don't last always. But, you know, your darkest hour, and this is a dark hour right now. But our the Bible says that our darkest hour is just before dawn. So dawn is coming. Dawn is coming, but I, I want you to be around to enjoy it. This smoke is going to clear. Listen, this sink is on the verge of shipping right now, of, of sinking, sinking. And listen, don't be one of the ones who sink with this ship. You got to have, use your own mind. Don't be embarrassed. It's, it's not about be, peer, uh, giving in to peer pressure for wearing a mask. We're all wearing masks. Come on. You know, th that's, that's childish. It's childish. I'm not going to, I don't want to be looking stupid. But come on. You're going to be looking dead. You, I'd rather be looking stupid than to be looking dead, guys. You know, uh, I, I'm, I'm thankful. And I'm glad to be seen. I'm, you know, when people say, it's good to see you, I, I always respond, it's good to be seen rather than viewed. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. And, you know, let's go ahead on and just do what we have to do. And, you know, uh, stay home where you got to be. Listen, I'm I'm a single lady. And it's just me and my granddaughter. And, yeah, we get lonely sometimes. Sometimes we get tired of each other. I know she, you know, and, and all that. But we love each other to the point where we can do this. We can do this. And I'm not just willing to get out there and move around or invite a, a company in who I don't know where they've been or who they, I, I'm just, I'm not willing to do that. I wasn't doing it before. And I'm just not going to ever do it now because I love life. I have too much to live for. And so do you. So do you, whether maybe, whether or not you can see it or, or whether or not you believe it, you do. You have more to live for than what, than what you've experienced this far. And I love y'all. I love y'all. And that's why I'm saying this. You know, I'm, I'm saying this. I didn't just get on here to eat. I got on here to plead, you know, uh, for you to do the right thing. Do it, do, you know, uh, uh, protect yourself, protect your family, you know, cause listen, People are really dying. They ain't, they, that, that ain't no skit. They're not playing. It's really happening. I love y'all. And, you know, and if you're new to the channel, you know, I just jumped right in there, you know, and just wanted to, because, but if you're new to the channel, you know, uh, we don't all, this is laughing, but very serious. And we don't always get this deep because there's some uh, sometimes, but it's just so much going on right now until I just felt an urgency and I felt a need to just uh, be deep. Don't have much to laugh about uh, today, you know, but uh, by the grace of God, it's, it's going to get better, you know, uh, so nothing lasts forever, not good stuff, nor bad stuff, you know, and at the end of the day, God has not abandoned his throne. So he is still in control. Everything happens for a purpose. And, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, we, we say, what possibly good could come out of this? But it is. It's something, you know, even if it wasn't nothing but uh, for exposure, guys. A lot of this, I think, was uh, in order to uh, expose uh, the kind of trouble that our nation has really in and has been in for years, but we just didn't know it. So I love you guys. I really do. I love you guys. Uh, I enjoy being with you. Uh, and um, we're going to... Um, uh, uh, get together again soon, you know, and I hope it's under better circumstances, but you know, and, and well, I don't know, and, and unless things change in the next few days, because I'll see y'all soon, you know, but listen, pray guys, pray. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves, seek my face and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then, and this is a promise of God. He said, then, I will forgive your sins and I will heal your land. I believe him, guys. I believe him. And I hope you do too. That's Second Chronicles 7, 14. Reread that if you don't know it. Read it and follow those instructions so that we can have a healing from God, so that he will hear our prayers, he will forgive our sins, and he will heal our land. Until the next time, uh, I uh, go ahead and... Uh, so, um, I hope you've enjoyed what you've heard or, or that it was, of, um, that I've said something that could be of some help to you, uh, enlightenment, um, but so that you'll uh, consider subscribing to my channel. 
and um, share it out. Share it out. I, I need for everybody. I need this video to go farther than it's ever went before because if you are under the sound of my voice, I'm praying for you and I really wish that you would stay safe. Stay safe and uh, stay encouraged. There's always something to be in. Keep hope alive, God, guys, and let your hope be in God. I love you and I'm praying for you. Peace.